CataractCoach.com. Understanding vertical chop. Now, the chopper is aimed into the nucleus and within the capsular rexus. This is different. So, again, rexus is complete here now. And now look where we place the instruments. So getting some viscoelastic out of the eye, I'll do a little hydrodissection. But the key in this one is where's the chopper being placed? And the chopper does not go around the capsular bag equator like it did in horizontal chop. The chopper stays within the confines of the rexus. So let's show you this. So here comes a phaco probe. Now you already know what you're doing for settings. High vacuum here, right? Three, four, five hundred millimeters of mercury vacuum. Flow rate about 35 cc's a minute. Enough phaco power to get this thing embedded. So here's the phaco probe going in. I'd like to go bevel down and get that aimed right in the middle of the nucleus, nice and deep. Now the chopper just goes inside the nucleus, digging into the nucleus, and then the instruments get pulled apart. Now you see that? The difference is what's the path of the chopper? It's moving vertically. It's going from the top here of the anterior surface of the nucleus into the meat of the nucleus. So the chopper is moving in a position that's going from, let's say, top down towards the optic nerve. So push the chopper into the nucleus, and then you pull the, the chopper and the phagoprobe probe apart to propagate the chop. So that's vertical chop. So again, horizontal chop, what was the path? It was horizontal. The initial path of the chopper was what? Parallel to the iris, horizontal. And here, the initial path of the chopper is poking downward towards the optic nerve to go into the middle of the nucleus. That's a vertical position. And so that vertical travel means this is vertical chop. Now, the nice part here is you don't need to go underneath the rex's edge. You don't have to go all the way out to the capsule back equator. You can stay within the central nucleus, uh, nucleus here and within your capsular rexus. That makes it a hugely important difference, and it makes it easy to learn this. Now, you need to have a chopper that has a relatively sh sharp tip. So look at that tip there. That looks pretty good. You don't want to have a chopper with a ball tip, because then how will you embed it and pierce into the nucleus? You can't. Now, you need to have the high vacuum holding power with the phaco probe because that's going to hold the nucleus still as you dig your chopper into it. Because if the uh, chopper is not uh, able to dig in there, let's say you lose the holding power of the vacuum, well, then you can't dig it in there. The, the whole nucleus just gets pushed backwards. So you need to have that holding power there. So it's really important. And again, there is a finite window or period of time where you need to get this chop done. So you need to buzz in with an, into the center of the nucleus, or actually I like to go just sub-incisional inside the rexus, get a strong holding power of the nucleus, and once it's held in place, dig in the chopper into the same nucleus there, right within the confines of the rexus, and then pull the instruments apart, and that'll propagate a chop right through it. Beautifully done. That tell you about our website, cataractcoach.com, full-on website. You hear me say at the beginning of every video, but yet you never go to the website and check it out. I have so much material there for you. A PDF book, a curriculum series, the podcast, the free daily email. In fact, could you please not email me questions about videos that you could have easily answered by using the search engine on cataractcoach.com? I get emails every day. Hey, do you have a video? But yeah, I got 2,000 videos. I got everything you want. Just go to cataractcoach.com, the actual website, leave YouTube for a minute, use the search engine. I promise you, you'll find amazing things. So now, finishing the case here, taking out the cortex. Nice and easy, coming out there. Now you're saying, okay, now I understand. That was horizontal chop yesterday. Today you told me about vertical chop. What's combo chop or any other chop? These are all just variations on it. So for combo chop, what we're doing is you're just doing a little combination of horizontal and or vertical. It doesn't really matter. The principle for chopping is the same, and that is a mechanical splitting of the nucleus into smaller pieces. Mechanical nucleus disassembly or nucleofractus. Nucleofractus means a way of fracturing up the nucleus. And bottom line for it is you're holding the nucleus typically with the phaco probe, with vacuum power. And then you're using the chopper to help split mechanically that nucleus. And again, it can be horizontal, it can be vertical, it can be a combination of the above. Whatever you like, you can definitely do it here. Oh, now the surgeon switched over to a ball tip chopper. You saw that? Getting that lens inside. There we go. Deliver that thing in the capsule bag. There's a squirt there, and now using the ball tip chopper to deliver it in. Very nicely done, young doctor. I do appreciate your skill set there. And hey, remember, like I always tell you, cataractcoach.com, check out the website, use the search function, and learn from the curriculum series about how you can be a phaco chop surgeon.